Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video I would like to compare the Boss OD200 versus a Tube Screamer and versus the Clone Centaur using both a clean amp, actually a Fender the Twin and a Plexi on the edge of the breakup. Actually, the OD200 is a boost overdrive, distortion and fast pedal powered by an hybrid analog and digital circuit that I have already reviewed in my channel. This pedal is capable of imitate many other overdrive and distortion pedal and comparing it versus a clone and a tube screamer, I would also like to answer the question can this pedal substitute other overdrive and distortion pedal that I have? Actually, this question was asked in my YouTube channel in the comments on my video review of the OD200. Well, let me also thank all of you for all your great messages and questions, they are really inspiring me. But now, let's find out how the OD200 sounds in comparison with the Tube Screamer and with the Clone Centaur. First of all, as always, the signal chain. I have played a specific riff with my Sir Classic Antique S that is stored in a Dito Looper. The riff is pretty dynamic, so we can test the dynamic response of the effects. Then the Dito Looper is going into Electroharmonics Parallel Mixer where all the three pedals are attached and I can switch one from the other just pressing a button. Then the output of the Parallel Mixer is going into an Ampit 88S to which are connected a Marshall SV20 which is basically a Plexi on the edge of the breakup and a Fender the Twin in a clean channel. Both of these amps are then going to a Greenback speaker and then they are connected to a, an API 512 that then is going to my Apollo X16 straight in the computer. Let's now start from the clean channel. This is the clean channel without any pedal. This is the tube screamer. So the tube screamer essentially is uh, maxed out in terms of level and overdrive while the tone is in the middle. Now we are going back and forth with the OD200 in order to verify if we can match the two pedals where the OD200 is in the scream mode let's try to have the same setting of the tube screamer with the level and drive maxed out and the equalization knob in the middle tube screamer before Okay, the D200 is much more louder than the Tube Screamer. So let's put the level in the middle and the drive in the middle. Let's try once more. Tube Screamer. The Tube Screamer is a little bit uh, more full and pronounced in the bass frequency. So let's try to add some bass frequency to the D200 and a little bit of more drive. D200. Let's focus on that do da 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 and try to pay attention to the bass frequencies because uh, in my opinion Tube Screamer has specific bass frequencies that we have to try to imitate with the D200.
Now I think that the OD200 is pretty close to the tube screamer. They are not exactly equal, but I would say that they are pretty similar. And the OD200 has much more drive to offer. Let's try now to switch to the Marshall. It is on the edge of the breakup. Let's start with the Tube Screamer. They are not exactly equal, but I think that they are pretty close. With other tracks in a mix or in a live rig playing with other musicians, I don't think that anyone is gonna be able to really find the difference between the two. Let's now switch once more to the clean amp and we will now compare the OD200 with the clone. Let's switch the OD200 to the clone Centaur. Okay, everything in the middle. Here we have everything in the middle. Let's start with the clone. Well, very different, very different sound. Let's try to play with a knob. This was pretty hard. Match the two pedal is very very difficult. The clone is very unique. The OD200 uh, is getting closer, but uh, I can't tell the difference. A very specific equalization and frequency balance of the clone that uh, the OD200 uh, is not able to uh, replicate. Let's try with more gain now. Enhancing the gain, I think that they are becoming closer. 
still different but closer. Now let's try it with the Marshall. <laughs> With the Marshall on the edge of the breakup, uh, I think uh, it is becoming very difficult to find uh, the difference between the two. There is still a suitable difference, but uh, very, very thin. Let's try to have less gain in the pedals. <laughs> Even in this situation, using less gain, I think that they are pretty close. So, summarizing, with the clean amp at low gain levels, the clone is difficult to imitate. When you raise the gain, they start to become more similar. With an amp on the edge of the breakup, I think that they are pretty similar. There is still a suitable difference, but I think that is very thin. So finally, coming back to the initial question, can this pedal substitute the other overdrive and distortion pedal that I have? Well, actually, I would say yes. Unless I need that specific tone, for instance, I love the exotic Soul Driven and its unique tonality and color. So if I really want that specific tone, well, the OD200 could not be the right choice. In any case, don't get me wrong, even if the OD200 is pretty close, it is not identical. And you know, I'm a pedal nerd. So sometimes I just want that specific screamer sound. But in any case, the OD200 is very close. It sounds and feels great and it is very convenient because bringing with me just this pedal to a jig, I can leave at home any other pedal, still obtaining a great and convincing sound, obviously in my opinion. So we have reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it would be of a great help and you won't miss my future content. See you in the next video, bye bye.